just who do you think you are? Well. Ah! Ah! Yeah. Groot! Gamora! And me. Star Munch. I'm not going to answer Star Munch. On May 5th. Put your seatbelt on! You only get one chance to save the galaxy twice. Oh, wow. I know. That almost hit me. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, rated PG-13. The fate of the universe lies on your shoulders. Now, whatever you do, don't push this button. Because that will set off the bomb immediately, and we'll all be dead. Now, repeat back what I just said. I am Groot. No! No, that's the button that will kill everyone! Try again. I am Groot. Mm-hmm. I am Groot. Uh-huh. I am Groot. No! Showtime, a-holes! Ah! over the death button. Nobody has any tape. Not a single person has tape. You have an atomic bomb in your bag. If anybody's going to have tape, it's you. I have to do everything. You are wasting a lot of time. That's a really bad sign. If I touch someone, I can feel their feelings. You feel love. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I feel a general unselfish love for just about everybody. No, sexual love. No, no, I don't. For her. No. <laughs> she just told everyone your deepest, darkest secret. Dude, <laughs> come on. I think you're overreacting a little bit. You must be so embarrassed. <laughs> do me, do me, do me. Hi, Vale here. Now, staying with the superhero movie theme, did you know that Spider-Man was almost called Fly-Man? No, I'm not joking. When Stan Lee was asked to create a new superhero to follow in the footsteps of the extremely popular Fantastic Four team, the legendary creator thought up Marvel's next big thing after spotting a fly on the wall. According to Lee himself, that got him thinking about a superhero that could stick to walls. Flyman and Insect Man were a couple of his ideas on the hero's name before coming up with Spider-Man. So what do you think about that? Let me know in the comments below and I will leave you with some superhero movie playlist to watch. See ya!